The interest in diameter signaling has exploded recently because of the continued explosion in mobile data growth. Uh, we continue to see uh, around the world uh, the actual usage of data going up dramatically. That of course then requires you to have a very strong network and that of course means you have to have a great diameter control plane. The link between diameter and mobile uh, monetization is that diameter is really the protocol that's used uh, to be able to create new revenue. For example, uh, whether it's a tiered service plan, a family plan, uh, you may have multiple devices per plan, all of that communication is done via diameter and therefore that's the linkage. The new iPhone, uh, as it now shows up on an LTE network, we'll see the changeover from using SS7-based authentication to diameter-based authentication. Similarly, we believe that the new iPhone will produce new kinds of very interesting and exciting use cases uh, that will be determined and defined as the, as the new iPhone comes out into the marketplace. We're very excited to see that. I believe operators should start to look at their diameter routing needs now. Um, putting the right diameter control framework in place at the very beginning of their network rollout enables them to make sure they not only have a reliable network, but they have one that can scale accordingly. My impression of the event is, is it's been terrific. This is the second one that we've been at, and in both cases, I've seen strong uh, networking opportunities, operators really problem solving together, sharing experiences, uh, really leveraging each other's uh, backgrounds, and uh, it's, it's the great place to do that. The, the breaks and the lunches uh, particularly are, are great ways for us to get to know each other.